Hey, I've been listening. You know, I listen to the talk radio all the time wherever I'm dra traveling. And uh, a lot of Mike Gallagher, a lot of Rush Limbaugh, Hannity. Occasionally I pick up Hugh Hewitt. Depends where I'm at. And you Now, Hugh is sort of a nebulous, I guess is the word I would call it. Never sure whether he's, he's kind of like a medved to me, you know. He, he's always sort of flip-flopping back and forth from being conservative to moderate to maybe a little liberal at times. And, uh, Uh, and then, and then this morning, I was just listening to him. He just sounds sometimes a little glib. Is the best word I could come up with on the spot. Glib. G L I B. And it's sort of that Ivy League glibness. You know, it's a little bit um, arrogant. Saying I know the truth because I got Ivy League education. I know more than you. Um, that kind of attitude, and I think that's what turned off a lot of people from turns off, and caused also a little rift between President Trump before he became president. I remember there was this time when Hewitt tried to interview him, and Trump said, "Hey, uh, you know." I don't like that kind of gotcha stuff because Hewitt was asking him some kind of intricate question about foreign policy and naming a name that, you know, you wouldn't normally know unless you're like uh, studying in a classroom about this subject, this topic, something about, I think it had something to do with terrorism or something. And uh, and so he, I would just want to encourage Hugh Hewitt, if he sees this at some point in time, to you know take a little, uh, add a little blue collar flair to your tone so that you appeal to more people. You're not talking to most of the people you out here in Normalville are not Ivy League. I mean, if you just want to talk to your fellow Ivy Leaguers, go ahead, you know, but that's that's the audience you're going to appeal to. So I just want to encourage Hugh Hewitt to, you know, tone down the, the uh, superciliousness a little bit.